Hi everyone. Today I'm going to make a video to show you how to draw this chest piece. This is a queen of the chest piece or uh, the chest set that I've been drawing. So if you followed my other videos, you would have drawn uh, quite a few pieces. This is the second to last piece. This is the queen and then all that's left is going to be the king. So to start with, I am going to go into top view. And I'm going to draw the outline of this chest piece. Because we're going to revolve it as we did with all the other pieces that we've drawn. So I'm going to draw the baseline. It's going to be 30 millimeters wide. So I'm going to type L enter and type in 30 to enter the dimension. So the first line up is going to be three millimeters up and I'm going to draw it up or we'll just hover it on the 90 degrees and then I'm going to type in three enter the second line is going to be two millimeters higher but this one is at a 45 degree angle so the next step is to draw the circle or this arch so to do that we're going to use the circle command but to use the circle command we're going to need two points and a radius to draw this circle or this arch so the th first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this point which I already I've already drawn and the second point thing I'm going to do is get this point so to get this point we have to use a height of 8.97 above that point so 8.97 and that's the height of that point as shown the next thing we're going to do is we're going to enter the 20 millimeter diameter of a circle or we're going to use the radius because we're going to draw from the center line so i'm just going to put in a line of 100 high so on this height i'm going to come over to my center line where it crosses or cuts then i'm going to click there to start my line and it's going to be 10 millimeters wide then I can delete that line and as you can see the 8.97 that's the height so we have our two points and the radius as our third point so we're going to enter C enter 3P to use three points enter so we're going to click the first point click the second point and type in the diameter as our third point so now we're going to trim away the extra piece of circle so tr enter tr enter and just trim away the extra pieces then delete the rest so the next point we're going to use is going to be one millimeter above that point that we've already drawn so we just click there drag the line up type in one to get a one millimeter line so the next point is going to be arch again so to get that arch is the same principle as getting this arch so i'm going to start from my center point or my center line and I'm going to go up two millimeters as indicated and I'm kind of going to come across with eight millimeters because that's a radius of this diameter shown here so now I can hit C enter again to go into circle 3P or three points click the first point click the second point and enter the radius or the diameter as our third point and in this case it's going to be four because the radius is shown as two so the same thing we're going to trim we're going to trim away the extra pieces of line and as you can see my autocad sometimes is a bit slow so i have to type in tr then wait for it to see what command i've entered so i trim so let's just redo that because it's trimmed away pieces of the circle that I didn't want to lose. So I can just enter U 
or type U enter to undo the last command and as you can see it undid that command so from this point we've drawn up to this point here so for the next point it's going to be 42.43 millimeters above this point that we've just drawn so I'm going to the center point 42.43 enter then I come across with 6 millimeters because that diameter is shown as 12 so 6 enter then again I'm gonna draw my circle with C enter 3P enter to use the three points that's the first point that's the second point and now I need to use the radius or the diameter as the third point and in this case as shown here it's going to be 180 the diameter because the radius is 90 so T R enter again to trim away the extra pieces of circle so the next point is going to be one millimeter or oh, we're going to we're going to start with these arch or this arch up here so to draw this arch we're going to need three points as well as per the other circles as shown but first i want to get the height of this arch so the height is shown as 3.32 so i go into my center line i go up 3.32 enter come across uh, 15 or I'm gonna come across 7.5 as the radius is 7.5 now I can go into C enter 3P enter to draw that circle with the three points first point second point and then the diameter is my third point so I trim away the extra piece of circle and delete the extra piece so from this point as you can see it's just a straight line up of one millimeter as indicated so it's one millimeter and from this point we're gonna have to draw a line that's a bit skew so we can either use the, uh, the what is shown here we can use that or we can use just get that point up there and we don't have to worry about rotating the line to a certain degree so we can use those degrees or we can just draw that line or that point up top so this is gonna be as you can see it's gonna be 15 millimeters above minus that one millimeter that we've already drawn so it's going to be 14 above this point that we've just drawn so we're going to use 14 we're going to come across with 12 and a half millimeters because that is shown as 25 and we come back to this point as indicated so then there's just a one millimeter line up again so now we're going to have to draw this circle that is the top or well, it's going to be an arch so the same as all the other circles or arches we're going to draw it with three points so the radius is shown as 25 so we're going to need a diameter of 50 to go across to no we're going to need Oh, sorry I'm looking at this radius instead of this diameter so the diameter is 25 so I just draw a line across that's 25 and then I'm gonna draw the arch with the circle command so circle enter 3p enter so I use the first point the second point and the third point is gonna be the radius or the diameter of 50 so I'm going to trim away the extra pieces of the circle with the TR enter. So the last thing left to do is to draw this arch up top. 
but as you can see it's shown as a 10 millimeter diameter and I don't think that is the correct size because if you look at the 25 as shown here then it's much bigger than the 10 and if you double this by two and a half it's not going to come close to the size shown here so I'm going to make that diameter I'm going to draw it as 5 so I'll go into circle command by C enter draw a radius of 2.5 so as you can see it looks a bit big as well so I'm just going to scale it to where I feel comfortable with so right about there then I'm going to trim away the extra piece because I just need up to the center line. So now you can remove all the construction lines or the height lines that you've used to get your points on your chest piece. And I'm going to make this line up to the center. Then I'm going to select all the lines except the center lines. So I'm going to select all those lines. I'm going to hit J, enter to join them. Now you can revolve. Let me just see if it's joined everything. And as you can see, it didn't. So I just have to manually select those again. Hit J, enter. And as you can see, everything is one line now. Sometimes if it's not in view and you hit the join command, it doesn't join everything because it's not all not everything is in the view so the next step is to select that outline that you've drawn just the outline make sure it's just that everything that you've joined and you go to revolve in your modeling tab and you use that center line to revolve around hit 360 enter and there you have your chest piece so then you can just select it and rotate it 90 degrees let's just try that again select that rotate select the bottom as the point you want to rotate around select that axis as the axis you want to rotate around and just rotate 90 degrees so as you can see there you have the queen drawn to the specifications of this drawing so if you followed followed my other videos you would have a chessboard and all the other pieces you can just add this to your chessboard i hope you learned something new today and thank you so much for watching bye bye